Well, hello, IDS 105 students, and welcome to week four here in the IDS 105 learning community. You all, welcome to the official halfway point of your term. You are now entering the last half of your term, which means that these next couple of weeks are gonna move really pretty quickly. So take a moment, give yourself a high five, let a little bit of a woohoo out, and just congratulate yourself on making it to the halfway point of your term. As always, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It is our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. A couple of webinar reminders. This is an academic space, so always be mindful of your conduct. And these webinars are not graded, they are not required, but you will learn about how to do assignments from week to week and or go over your concepts that we are working on in your class. As we are now at the halfway point, you guys should really be in the routine and habit of these things, but I wanna give you a reminder just in case you are not or if you're just finding the learning community first and foremost always make sure that you are reading those course announcements that is where your faculty put a lot of helpful tips tricks ideas um, and go over the concepts in a way that helps you connect the material and complete your assignments for your success plus they often often do some um, reminders of due dates and deadlines don't forget to check that snhu email that is how the university communicates with you so it's really important that you are consistently checking your university snhu email also if you are stuck on something, you're not sure on something, you're struggling somewhere, you're overwhelmed, y'all do not wait, okay? Please, 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 if it's anything course related, make sure that you reach out to your instructor. Email them, call them, text them, however they best communicate, you can find that in that My Instructor announcement. But don't hesitate, we want you to be successful, all right? So if it's about your grades or feedback, or maybe you're missing assignments, or you um, have turned something in late, or you didn't do so well on an assignment, or maybe life is just happening and you're falling behind, whatever it might be, make sure you reach out to your instructor. Anything else, let your advisor know. Keep us in the loop and connect with us for your success. So this week here in module four, week four, you have your next project draft assignment this week and you have a discussion assignment. So a couple of reminders with those two assignments is for that project draft, you wanna have that Microsoft Word PDF or something compatible for your project draft to be submitted for your faculty to grade it. As a reminder, you get Office 365 for free. You can find that underneath the help icon in your classroom. Click on online student services and scroll down to Office 365 and other software. Follow the prompts, you'll get it downloaded for your success. Another reminder, video note submissions are not permitted for project draft. It has to be a turned in written assignment. We are in week four, so make sure that you are paying attention to which questions you are answering this week on the project draft, okay? The other top reminder, top tip I wanna give you is to make give the academic support written feedback service an opportunity to review your work. This is a great way just to make sure that how you are answering the questions in your project draft is on track with the assignment. Um, they will look over your assignment from a grammatical standpoint. There's a whole lot of ways that can support your success from the writing standpoint to really build your confidence um, in turning in your assignments for your success. If you haven't utilized the academic support written feedback service, this is a great time to do it. As a reminder, due dates here for week four, module four. You have a discussion assignment. So that initial discussion post is due on Thursday. And then you kind of have at least two responses to classmates submitted by Sunday. Also, your project draft is due by Sunday. Can you respond to more to, to can you respond to two or more classmates? Of course you can. Um, can you work earlier in the week? Of course you can, as convenient by your schedule. But just remember, initial discussion post Thursday, peer responses and project draft due by Sunday. So let's talk about our topic this week um, here in IDS 105 for week four. We are going to be talking a lot about communication. So as a reminder, there are so many different types of communication, right? I'm gonna talk just real quick about them. And as I'm talking about them, I want you to think about how you communicate, like what kind of communication do you use the most? How would you prefer to be communicated with? And then think about the ones that you are around. This could be loved ones, this could be your classmates, this could be your um, coworkers. Um, and think about like how they communicate because we all have a little bit of a different style or we might even use a mix of that. And of course, in today's technology age, 
there's so many ways for us to communicate that it's really important to understand like what really does work best for us. Um, how could we work on being our best communicator to other people that are in our life too? So types of communication, they are verbal communication, which is using the spoken word. Okay. That's like that face-to-face -face, in person or on the phone, you're using those spoken words, written communication. This tends to be a very popular one, um, especially lately, you know, using that written language. So this would be like those good old fashioned cards in the mail or notes, um, emails, text messages, letters. Those are just some examples of written communication. Nonverbal communication is using body language. This is things like posture, gestures, and silence. And then visual communication is using like using visual cues. So as you kind of look at this list, just think for a minute, how do you most often communicate? I know for me, written communication is probably the one that I use the most between text messages, emails. Um, I'm a I'm a fan of sending like good old fashioned letters or cards in the mail. That is the most popular way that I communicate. However, if somebody's communicating with me, it also tends to be very similar, you know, getting that card in the mail, getting that email, getting that text message. But I absolutely love to be able to chat with people either face to face or on the phone. There's just something or even like on FaceTime or Google Hangout. There is just something about being able to hear somebody's voice um, or like see their you know, postures and gestures. It's just kind of the way that I like to communicate. But I want you to think about you and how you best communicate and any changes that maybe you could make. Because as you're going to learn this week in week four, communication can really have an impact. Um, and sometimes the intent of the way that we communicated or the things that we said or wrote or did, the way that it's received was absolutely not our intention or vice versa. So as you think about communication, communication styles, communication types this week, as you navigate through module four, really think about yourself and what you're good at and strong with, with your communication skills. Maybe what you have some areas for opportunity or growth in regarding your communication skills and communication styles. And then you're of course going to apply it to your assignments this week as our week four discussion assignment centers in on the following questions. Number one, discuss, discuss a situation where communication is important. So think of a time or a situation or an experience where communication is definitely important. This could be daily life, work life, or academic life. Um, if you want to, you could always describe a situation from a show you watched or a book you read or even a recent event in the news. But most of us typically have something personally that we can um, use as an example for this discussion. Question two is to describe your own personal communication style preferences in the situation you described. So for example, like we just talked about, do you prefer text messages? Um, do you prefer email more than face-to-face -face or a phone call? Like what is your preference? And then question three, what communication strategies, now you're going to learn about those as you review this week's required resources in the module reading, what communication strategies would help enhance communication in the situation you described? So as always, initial discussion post is due by Thursday, responding to at least two of your classmates by Sunday or earlier as convenient for your schedule. Make sure that you are writing with enough details and examples and information so it's easy to have a dialogue start between you and your classmates. Um, next up for this week is that project draft, of course, due on Sunday. You guys picked a scenario back in module two, and you are using that same scenario in each project draft. So you use that scenario in week two, module two, week three, and now you're using it again here in week four. This is just a quick blurb reminder of those scenarios. As always, remember you can find um, more information and details underneath supporting materials and you click on scenario profiles. Um, this week's questions, like I mentioned earlier in this webinar, is you wanna make sure you're paying attention to which questions you should be answering because you are in part two of the template. So remember, you're utilizing the same template and the same scenario from week to week. You can open up that same document you've been turning in. You can type right in it. If you decided to do something a little bit more creative or unique and you kind of made your own document, just make sure that you have all the pieces and parts of each question for each part of the template, okay? Now, last week in week three, you should have completed part two, question one and two. This week, as you will notice in the yellow highlights here, you are completing questions three, four, and five for module four. As a reminder, when you open up your template, you're not gonna see any highlights. You just wanna look for the sections that you are supposed to complete um, on the project for module four. So those questions are to describe how our awareness of other cultures can benefit in personal communication with people in the scenario you picked. 
Question four, describe how exposure to diverse backgrounds can positively influence communication in your scenario. And then question five, explain why an awareness of diversity is beneficial to collaboration in this scenario. As a reminder, use examples. Draw upon what you have learned in your own life or experience in addition to any classroom reading or any of the required resources and the concepts and um, information that we have covered this term in IDS 105, okay? As a reminder, communication is key. Y'all, I can't stress enough. If you have questions, if you're stuck on something, if you've fallen behind, you didn't do so good on an assignment, you're wondering about something, maybe you need to work ahead or you've had a life change happen, communication is key. You have so many resources literally at your fingertips here at SNHU. Um, you can call the departments, you can email the departments, a lot of um, faculty members even text message, or you can talk to them on the phone. Just make sure that you're reaching out and communicating for your success, both inside and outside the classroom. Um, before I let you go here real quick, I just wanted to go into the classroom space and remind you where you can find everything, just in case you have not yet found um, where that Office 365 for free is. Click on this help arrow, click on online student services. It pulls up all the departments and teams here at SNHU. Scroll down about halfway to Office 365 and other software. Click the blue, follow the prompts. It gets you where you want to go. If you get stuck, reach out to your advisor or the SNHU help desk. I also mentioned utilizing academic support. So you can always click on academic support up there at the top. It's going to pull up their menu of services. Many students enjoy the written feedback service, which is where you can upload and submit your drafts and assignments for written feedback. You're going to have a little questionnaire that you fill out to select the most important area for your tutor to focus on. And then you're going to have targeted feedback will be returned to you within 12 hours. So this is a great resource to utilize for your success, especially if you're not sure if you just kind of got the concepts right and you just kind of want to second check on your writing. Okay, where you can find everything for this week is course menu, click on learning modules. And when you do that, you want to go into module four. As a reminder, always make sure you're clicking on the introduction and actually click through the module because y'all have a lot of content within the module in your Brightspace classroom. So as always, go over the objectives and the overview. You want to click over um, and review any of the module content. You will notice here it talks about the different interpersonal communication strategies, intent versus impact. There's a lot of conversation and context right here within your module in addition to the required resources section. Do not forget to review the required resources section. That's where you can see where your textbook, your assigned chapters to read are, any helpful videos or anything else that might help for your success. Um, this week again, you got that discussion assignment and your project draft. Have an amazing week four. Remember, you got this. Reach out if you are stuck, and I'll see you in week five.